So many of you left a comment in some of my videos asking if I could talk about the sugar diet. At first, I thought they were joking. I mean, we've heard of the cabbage soup diet, the grape fruit diet, but a diet made up almost entirely of sugar? Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, your root cause focused, low carb living carnivore doctor. And today I'm diving into one of the most shocking trends I've seen on social media, the sugar diet. Yes, it exists. And no, your pancreas is not okay with it. Now I know people are tired. They're overwhelmed. And when someone says, Hey, eat sugar to feel better, it sounds easy, even freeing. But let's be clear, just because something gives you a burst of energy doesn't mean it's good for you. Red Bull does that too for about 20 minutes. Let's talk about what this diet is, what it claims, what it actually does, and why despite the hype is the opposite of metabolic healing. The sugar diet isn't always advertised as the sugar diet. You might hear it called high carb, low fat, the fruitarian cleanse, the raw vegan sugar fueled lifestyle, or sometimes it's just a person eating six bananas and calling it breakfast. But the basic idea is this, eat mostly carbohydrates, especially from fruit and refined sugar. Avoid fats and proteins because they're seen as slowing down metabolism. Eat often to keep blood sugar high. And yes, some people literally stir sugar into water and call it a metabolic hack. The logic, sugar gives quick energy. And for those who follow this approach, they believe that glucose is the preferred fuel for the body and therefore more fuel must be better, right? Let's pause there because that's where things start to fall apart. Yes, glucose is a fuel, but calling it preferred is like calling gas our car's favorite fuel just because it starts the engine. It's one fuel, but your body is also designed to run beautifully on fat. In fact, Many of your cells, including your brain, thrive on ketones, especially when glucose is scarce. Now, when you flood your body with sugar all day, here's what really happens. Number one, insulin spikes over and over again. Every time you eat sugar, especially without fat or protein, your pancreas pumps out insulin to lower blood sugar. Do this repeatedly and your cells start tuning insulin out. That's called insulin resistance. And that's the gateway to metabolic syndrome, weight gain, and type two diabetes. Number two, fructose overload. Many of these sugar diets rely heavily on fruit sugar, on fructose. And unlike glucose, fructose gets processed almost entirely in the liver where the excess turns into fat. That's how you end up with fatty liver disease even in people who don't drink alcohol. Number three, leptin resistance. Leptin is your I'm full hormone. Constant sugar intake blunts leptin's signal, making your brain think you're starving even after a big meal. So what happens? You keep eating. Number four, blood sugar roller coaster. Sugar gives you a quick high, but it's followed by a crash. That crash affects your mood, your energy, your hunger cues, and your hormones. And you end up irritable, fatigued, and reaching for more sugar just to feel normal again. This isn't metabolism boosting, it's metabolic chaos. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Some people do feel better when they switch to a high carb, sugar heavy diet, especially if they are under eating or overly restricting carbs before. But that's not healing. That's your body going from survival mode to stimulation mode. It's like saying coffee cured your exhaustion. It didn't. It just turned the lights on while the engine's still broken underneath. Let's be real. Sugar has zero essential nutrients. It doesn't give you B12 for nerve function, iron to carry oxygen, zinc to repair tissues, omega-3s for your brain, or complete proteins to build muscle and balance hormones. If someone's eating 90% fruit and sugar, they're not just missing macros, they're missing medicine. Because real food is information. It tells your body how to heal, how to grow, how to regulate. And that's why, as a carnivore and a low-carb doc, I emphasize nutrient-dense foods, foods that actually give you something back. Instead of riding the sugar train into metabolic dysfunction, what if we flip the script and prioritize protein and healthy fats to stay full and stable? Choose low glycemic carbs only when needed. Focus on foods that calm insulin, not abuse it, and stop fearing fat. It's not the enemy. In fact, it's the most efficient anti-inflammatory fuel source. You don't need sugar to thrive. You need nutrients and metabolic stability. And if you've been stuck on the sugar roller coaster, 
I'm here to say it's not too late to jump off. And to my viewers who asked me to cover this, thank you. I didn't think I'd ever need to make a video like this, but here we are. And honestly, the fact that this video exists reminds me that we've still got work to do. So if this helped open your eyes, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about the sugar diet. And if you're ready to dish sugar, I've got a video you need to watch. It's my quit sugar for 30 days video right here on the screen. And it tells you what really happens to your body. You won't believe the transformation. Until next time, protect your nest, guard your rope, and feel your body like it was designed.